setting a passage from The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, in which the unnamed protagonist, a black man in 1930s America, is making a speech at his best friend, Todd Clifton's funeral, a friend who was just recently shot by a white police officer. Here are the facts. He was standing and he fell. He fell and he kneeled. He kneeled and he bled. He bled and he died. He fell in a heap like any man and his blood spilled like any blood. Wet as any blood. Red as any blood. And reflecting the birds and the sky and the buildings and the trees and your face if you'd look into it stelling here. And the blood dried and the sun and his blood dries. That's all. They spilled his blood and he bled. They cut him down and he died. The blood flowed on the walk in a pool, gleamed for a while, and after a while became dull, then dusty, then dry. That's the story and that's how it ended. It's an old story and there's been too much blood to excite you. Listen to me standing up here on this so-called mountain. Let me tell you how it truly was. His name was Todd Clifton, and he was full of illusions. He thought he was a man when he was only Todd Clifton. He was shot for a simple mistake of judgment, and he bled, and his blood dried, and shortly after, the crowd trampled out the stains. It's a mistake which many are guilty. He thought he was a man, and that men were not supposed to be pushed around, but it was hot downtown, and he, he forgot his history. He forgot the time and the place. He lost his hold on reality, and there was a cop in a waiting audience, and he was Todd Clifton, and there are cops everywhere. The cop, what about him? He was a cop, a good citizen, but this cop had an itching finger and an eager ear for a word that rhymed with trigger, and when Clifton fell, he had found it. The police specials spoke their lines, and the rhyme was completed. Such was the short, bitter life of Brother Todd Clifton. Now he's in the box with the bolts tightening down. Now he's in the box with the bolts tightening down, and we're in there with him. And when I've told you this, you can go. It's dark in the box, and it's crowded. It's got a cracked ceiling and a clogged up toilet down a hall. It's got rats and roaches, and it's far far too expensive a dwelling. The air is bad, and it gets cold in the winter. Tom Clifton is crowded, and he needs room. Tell them to get out of the box. That's what he would say if you could hear him. Tell them to get out of the box, and to go teach the cops to forget that rhyme. Tell them to teach them that when they call you nigger, to make a rhyme with trigger, it makes the gun backfire. So there you have it. In a few short hours, Todd Clifton will be cold bones in the ground, and do not be fooled, for these bones shall not rise again. I don't know if Todd Clifton had a soul. I only know the ache I feel in my heart, my sense of love. I don't know if you have a soul, but I know that you are men of flesh and blood, and that blood will spill and flesh grow cold. And I don't know if all cops are, are poets, but I know that all cops carry guns with triggers, and I know too how we are labeled. So in the name of Brother Todd Clifton, beware of the triggers. Go home. Stay cool. Forget him. Keep out of the sun. When he was alive, there was only one thing left to tell, and I've already told it. His name was Todd Clifton. 
He believed in brotherhood. He aroused our hopes and he died.